Farming Simulator 22, I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode we have a lot of work to do. Farm chores, fourth hay cutting, uh, probably a new silo to put in, and yeah, lots of stuff like that. And we're going to sell eggs at the end of November, assuming the prices have not gone wacko on me again. Let's take a look. Yep, November is still the best time to sell eggs, and we should get, make a nice little chunk of change from that. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is hop in the big M here and get it started uh, with the hay cutting. So let's get this out to field 5354. I also want to uh, rename uh, or, or just name a couple of my buildings too. I want to name the sheep and I want to name the concrete stave silos. I think I mentioned to this to you guys, but I'm planning on, I'm going to just go ahead and keep those silos or, well, I'm going to keep one of them for sure. Maybe both of them. We'll see, but one of them for sure, because I'm going to start using those for our own silage. Uh, way easier than, you know, the silage bunker. The silage concrete bunker is almost empty. Uh, probably after our next mixture, it'll pretty much be emptied out. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and bring up the course play menu. We want to load up field 5354 spiral hay, load course, activate first waypoint and get him started okay so that's taken care of uh, let's get back over to the farm we're going to take the McCormick on over to the cow the cow barn and um, top them off I have feed in the, the feed wagon and uh, there should be enough to to top them off so we don't have to do a mixture right now but we'll do uh uh, we'll do that pretty soon, but also, you know, when we get a larger cow barn, which might happen at the end of the year after we do our big sales, I'm not sure yet. What What's really going to determine that more than anything, I think, at this point is if the manure that this place has produced throughout the year can support all of the greenhouses. And the greenhouses are still... I don't know, about 30% full on the manure. So they have not, it, it almost seems like they don't consume it as fast as they used to, like there was an update or something. But if there was, I'm not sure what that update is. Okay. So I, like I said, I don't think it's going to take all of it. Oh, no, definitely not. Okay, so we still have 29% left. Very good. Um, all right. We are going to use the McCormick later for rolling, so I guess we might as well uh, take it back over. Uh, we've got a bunch of wool to pick up. We have a bunch of eggs to pick up. Um, oh, yeah. What I was going to do is let's go over here. And we're going to get into the build menu. And we're going to call this uh, Sheep Barn 1. And this is Sheep Barn 2. That way I can tell which one's which, because one of them has lower feed than the other. I mean, they're both in pretty good shape overall. Uh, but that way I know which one's which. Okay, let's head on back, and um, we're going to grab the pickup truck and the flatbed trailer and come get all the eggs and the wool. Once that's done, the mower should have made a couple passes around, and then we can get our forage wagon, uh, our first forage wagon started. Okay, so I'm just going to park the McCormick right here for now. Okay, let's get over to our pickup truck and connect to the flatbed trailer. All right. Now, this load of wool that we're going to drop off at the spinnery should completely fill it. And then we should have some left over, which we'll take to the warehouse and start so uh, storing. And then, you know, when it comes time to sell, which is ch typically in April, we'll sell off the excess and make some more money. We like to make money. Yes, indeed, we do. Okay, let's get... Uh, pick up the eggs here. Hi, chickens. Ok, 
Okay, we'll pull around and get the other ones. And we'll go pick up the wool. Yeah, this truck really lags. Uh, the game gets really framey when you have pallets on it and you get up to speed. Kind of sucks, but nothing I can do about it, I guess. Grab that pallet of wool. Oh, you know what? We need to. We need to, or I need to adjust my silage factory speed even further. It's still not. It's still too slow. And we have to make sure that all that silage in there is completely fermented. Well, and if we buy a new one, even more so, you know, by January. So it's got to be adjusted even further. You'd think there'd be a way that Giants could optimize these pallets so they're not so bad. Okay, let's just confirm if we look in our spinnery it is completely chocked full of wool it still even has a little cotton left over that cotton's been in there like for an entire year pretty much or just about anyways uh, which is nice so that means we need to activate the wool in the pallet storage and we need to set it well it's already to set to distribute so that means the excess will will continue to go back into the spinnery as it needs it okay now let's take the rest of the warehouse. Yeah, that's the silage we have left. So we might get two more mixtures out of that. It's, it lasted a really long time. Can't complain, but using the stave silo is just going to be easier and more fun. And we like fun. Um, I want to look at milk. We missed the sell point in September because the game didn't tell me it's going to sell good there, but it still sells pretty decent in January. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I'm almost rather just top off our dairy because <clears throat> it's going to, yeah, it's it could use some milk. Holds up to 100,000 liters. That's crazy. We bought some sugar last month for the cake, so that's going good. There's still plenty of milk in the bakery. Oh, something else I did. Um, I figured out how to change the XML file in the game to have sorghum, soybeans, and... And... Um, uh, canola produce straw I just had to add a line uh, to each one of those crops in the fruits XML file and uh, now we should be able to get straw from those because I mean you should be able to get straw from that stuff in real life I, I know I definitely know people would you know use straw from um, from soybeans and why not sorghum and canola too you know uh, so we will now if we do you know ever plant those uh, we should be able to get straw from those crops. Sorghum in particular is one that I, I think we should have been able to do. Okay, anyway, what am I doing? Why did, <laughs> why did I drive all the way back over with this? I don't know. I'm too busy jabbering here. All right, let's go take this back. We need to get the um, uh, the fit hooked up to a forage wagon and get that going. So that is the next thing on the list. Okay, next we're going to jump in the Fint and get it hooked up to a forge wagon. We're going to have to create a little auto drive course for it. And I also want to name the concrete stave silos too because I haven't done that yet.
We have a full tank of bond silage. That's wonderful. Okay, so we have room for about a thousand liters. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not a thousand, a hundred thousand liters in this second stave silo here. So we might as well make use of that. No, actually, we we could put about a hundred and fifty-five ish thousand in there. So we might as well fill that all the way up. Uh, we'll not fill it all the way up. Fill it up enough to make. 100 and you know we'll say about it we'll just say like 155 150 around 150 but we are gonna have to keep an eye on it because otherwise it'll just keep filling it uh okay actually here let's back up here for a second um actually hold on no i don't want to do it this way change my mind okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna just come out to here And we're going to turn this on. And we're going to record here. We're going to call this we'll just call this F50 load because it's right next to field 50. I'm going to just drive a short little loop around through here. We'll drive past the first, uh, or the that's actually the second stave silo. And past right about wherever it clicks next there we go okay and we are, are going to call this um stave silo unload stave silo unload two to be precise now let's also i want this to be stave silo one and this to be stave silo two. Okay, good. Now let's just finish the course here. Stop the recording. Connect those two up. Uh, okay, so now we want to do field 50 load and stave silo unload two for that. And we want to turn on course play. We want to load uh, spiral hay. Make sure this is set to first waypoint. And we should be good to go. There he goes. He's starting the forage wagon, so I think he's on his way. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, I just got to keep an eye on this because I don't want to overfill it. It'll it'll let me put more in there, but I only want to put enough in there to where we can ferment the silage, um, you know, to its capacity. Now. What are we going to do with the rest of the silage? We have really two options. We could bail it. Um, or we can buy ourselves another silage factory, which is ultimately what I'm going to do, but I'm just not sure if I'm going to do that right now. Because if we do it right now, I'm going to have to take a loan because these are $300,000. Um, and this one should be completely full. Last time I looked, it is, yeah, uh, no, those are the stave silos. This is a silage factory. So, well, I mean, it's, it will be completely full once it finishes fermenting. And I got, again, I got to speed this up or this, there's no way this is going to be ready by January. It's just taking too doggone long. So I'm, you know, I don't know. I'll figure it out, but 
it's got to get done by January in order to work for our purposes. Okay, so while that is all going on, I can't really do a whole lot more until the mower is done, but it looks like it's getting close, and then I can do, you know, some of the side field mowing. Um, we could, I guess we could deliver milk to the dairy, and also maybe give one of the sheep pens some hay which one is lower sheep barn one so we could throw a bale of hay at sheep barn one and deliver the milk over to the dairy so let's do that next so we want to go back uh to our pickup truck um and drop that off Oh, the other thing we should do, too, is we should put some manure in the strawberry greenhouse. So that'll be the next thing that we'll do. So this is just kind of a do all kinds of different chores episode. <laughs> That's the way it works on a farm, man. All right, let's pull one bale out of here. Oh, no, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to dump some loose grass from one of the forage wagons. Yeah, okay, we'll do that later. Let's just do it that way. That'll be easier. Then we don't ha have to, we can save ourselves a hay bale. I am glad I remembered to do that. Because after I get all this other stuff done, I'm going to jump in the New Holland with the second forage wagon. Uh, in fact, it looks like the mower's done now. Um, so let's get him going. Um, we are going to have to clean up the the dregs here, too, so let me get that done first, and then I'm going to get this one going on the other fields, and then we'll go back to doing the milk. While I'm over here, might as well knock this grass out. Okay, so our driver has a problem, which is probably just as well. Uh, let's load production area. Uh, oh, I guess we never created a hay cutting course for this one. I have a roller course. Um, so let's go here, and this is just going to be like four headland, maybe, if even that. Great, of course. One, two, three. Yeah, that should be good enough. Uh, what if we do a five, actually? I don't know if that's going to make any difference or not. Doesn't seem to change it. Okay, let's go here. Production area, save course, um, spiral, there. Click OK, save that, make sure this is on first waypoint, let me take care of that. Okay, let's see here, let's go over to the forage wagon, and I want to look at the stave silo. Did it do one drop off? I think it probably did. And two. No, it hasn't. It hasn't done any drop off yet. Okay. Come on, man. You couldn't even do like the first one? Dork. Seems like it, it has trouble in that spot. I mean, if memory serves correctly, it messed up there before. I don't know why. All right, this should get you back on track. And do your thing. Don't crash into the mower. So these are 50,000 uh, liter trailers. So we're only gonna be able to really be able to put three loads in, in here in total. Okay, he should be okay. 
let him go. We just got to keep an eye on him because, again, I don't want him to try and... Uh, I don't want him to put more than three loads in. Okay, let's deliver milk to the dairy. Oh, I've got water in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. We'll, we'll pretend like we're giving it to the cows. Water set empty. There we go. Now we should be able to put the milk in. We have to back up a little bit. All right. Why isn't it letting me put milk in? Maybe we need to get out of the trigger and come back into it. There we go. Yeah, the trigger had probably already registered that we had water in the tank, so it wasn't going to let us fill it. 13,406 liters. That's that's a nice little batch of milk there. Fills our trailer up about a third of the way. Looks like the mower's done. You know, I never turned the traffic back on. Um, I'll turn them back on so we have, have a little extra life in the game until they annoy me enough to turn them back off again. Which won't take long. Okay, we'll go park the pickup and then jump in the big M and get it started on the other fields. Oh my goodness. Look what I just saw. There's a, a lettuce pallet down here. What in the world? How long has that been down there? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how long that's been down there. Um, <clears throat> let's, uh, I guess we could, I guess we'll just put it in here. How funny is that? That thing could have been sitting there for years. <laughs> Here, let's go to the warehouse and just tell it, uh, no, not that warehouse, just tell it to sell any lettuce it has. Uh, it already is set to selling. Okay, so yeah, it should just sell that for us. How funny, man. I was driving by and I just saw it down there. Oh, man. Oh, you know what that's from? Um, la last year, I think it was last year, I had auto drive set up and I had forgotten to slow down, slow them down on the corners and that truck came parallel around that corner and tipped over the whole load of lettuce, if you guys remember that. that that's probably what that's from. It must, I just missed it. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, anyway, let's uh, get back into the big M. And there's just a little bit here that we gotta 
get that was missed. Let's run over and cut the little uh, section of hay around the big greenhouses. Oh, okay, so he's going, he's offloading his second load. So we got to really watch him because he can only put one more load in there after that. And then he's it's pretty much full. I should probably just cut this in two passes so we can pull some of this margin grass down too. Because if I'm right in the middle, as you may have noticed, I, it doesn't get the all of the lower grass because of the angle, so I have to come back. All right, let's come up here real quick. Just do a pass down this way. This horse play won't go beyond the edge of the field, so we got to do this. And then one last little section here before we turn it over to horse play. I'm just going to go right down the middle of the road here. Okay, let's cut the uh, big M loose here. So we want to get rid of that. Go here. Go try fields. Try fields. Spiral hay. Load course. Activate. First waypoint. Go for it, man. Okay, let's see. What were we doing? I think the next thing we were going to do was take some manure to the strawberry uh, greenhouse. So let's do that next. And then I think we're pretty much finished doing all... Oh, wow. That got all jacked up again. <laughs> I'm going to have to come up with a different arrangement for the rollers, I think. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll get that drop off some manure at the strawberry greenhouse and then that'll pretty much take care of all of the extra things that need to get done and then I'm just gonna hop in the New Holland and the second forage wagon and uh, keep working the hay uh, let's look at the stave silos again specifically stave silo 2 uh, okay, so it oh it already has 150,000. Okay, so we can't put any more in there, uh, and we need to activate that too. All right, so that means when you fill up, actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop him for the moment because because I gotta come up with the a solution for the for the silage here so let's stop you and you just sit there for a bit okay let's do the manure we need to uh, pick up the grass over there because I think that's where we're gonna put the second uh, silage factory I already have a, a full trailer here, plus what's in the bunker, so we got a pretty decent amount of manure at the moment. Uh, what's that key for unlocking it? That one there, okay. Left bracket. Yeah, I have to fill the 
strawberry warehouse up a little more frequently because it's smaller so it doesn't hold quite as much. Though you'd think it would consume less too, so I don't know. There we go. Here, I want to do the grain door. Oh, now it's not giving me the... There we go. Okay. That little chore is done. I think the strawberry greenhouse is otherwise in good shape. Let's just double check it. Yeah, it's got plenty of water, plenty of seats. Okay. Um, next order of business is get the re the hay picked up over by the, the sheep so we can put down a new silage factory. Okay, let's get this stuff picked up. We should be able to get everything over here without filling the trailer completely up. All right, that gets all of that picked up. Let's turn this off. Uh, we are going to do a game save. And unfortunately, we're going to take a take out a loan. So... Um, let's go into here. We need three hundred thousand dollars to purchase the the factory. Plus, we want still want a little bit of operating cash. So let's just do. We have one hundred thirty four now, so we'll get that up to three hundred thousand. And then um, let's borrow another 30000 so we'll make it an even 200 for operating cash. Okay. And we want to go into here. And to productions. And our next one that we're going to put, let's line it up with this one so it's the same angle. Uh, we're going to put over here. So there's plenty of room to drive through. So I'm thinking right about here, probably. Yep, there's still enough room to drive around there. Okay. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to want to do a little bit of smoothing there. Here, let's do another save first. Okay, and then we just want to do a little bit of painting work uh, with asphalt. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Crap. I just screwed up my field. Well, you know what? It doesn't hardly matter because it's not like this is going to produce a lot of grass for us moving forward. But I still shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's just put some wild grass there. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, now, this is Silage Factory 1. This is Silage Factory 2. So that's named... And now all we have to do is just set up our course to drive to there. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll just use... Well, no, nah, there's not much point in using that course over there because we're not pulling hay off that field. We won't do that until next summer. So let's just dump this first batch off so we can get it activated. And then I'm going to, after I'm done 
uh, after I leave you guys, I'm going to actually shut the game down and go adjust that XML file to speed this up even more. Because it's just not enough. Oops. Okay, let's go into silage factory two and we want to grab the one for grass and activate. Okay. Redo this a little bit here. So uh, what we're going to do is start recording here and we're going to connect that to that and we're going to go this way I'm trying to keep them from crossing too much is, the, is what I'm doing here though they are actually going to cross in one spot but I probably am not going to have more than one automated tractor anyways because I'll be doing the rest of it so it shouldn't matter okay now turn the recorder off until we get over to here anyway okay turn it back on connect those two and this will be the return trip or no this is the trip to offload That was for the other field, so we'll just leave that in place for now. All right, I'm going to delete that one and connect you into there. Uh oh, what did I just do? You go into there. There we go. I think that's right. Nope, 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 nope. Stop recording. Which one that I just created? I think it's this one here. Right, okay. And then it just goes down the road on the normal path until we get to about here. And then we. Break off. Connect those two, stop recording. And let's make this one the unload trigger. Okay. So this is going to be um, I think I called the other one hay unload. So this will be hay two. Okay, so now let's just make sure that the course itself is not broken. So I just want to see if you can get, uh, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. I just want to see if you can drive to field 50 load from here. You can, okay, so that's good enough. Um, now, if we are at field 50 load, now we want to make sure it can drive to hay unload too. I really shouldn't have crossed those, but again, I'm only going to be running one vehicle, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal.
Okay, now, can you drive to Hey Unload 2? You can. Beautiful. Okay, so I think we're in business here. So what we want to do now is we want to set this back to pick up deliver. Field 50 load, hey unload 2. Make sure course play is on. You're still on the right track. Maybe that's what last waypoint means is go to the last waypoint you did. I think that's probably what that means. Um, but let's just turn it on and see what it does. All right, good. So it switched to course play. Should start right at the end of that windrow there. We have to remember to check the bond silage in this too. It's 51% after another couple loads. All right, I think we're back in business here. So we'll let them go at it. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I, I think what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna let you guys go here and I'm just gonna finish up uh, the hay and then I'll bring you back on November 3rd towards the end of the day for our egg sales. There's nothing in the sales that we're interested in. I think we looked at that last time anyway. So yeah. That is where we are. So, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.